I'm your host, Lumos Logan 23. You're joining me for AME Book 2, Chapter 1 Baby or Star. You're riding a luxurious limo on your way to the premiere of AME's All Stars. You chat with your driver as you approach the AME mansion. I know I've uh, only been a gone a couple months, but it feels weird to be back in Miami. You excited for the new season? Excited and nervous. I don't blame you. Each season of AME is crazier than the last. I'd be surprised if there were a billion new twists this time around. Well, plus now that Carson's our new showrunner. Well, let's just say I hope it goes smoothly. Especially since I lost the grand prize to Ivy last season. I'm still pissed about that. You deserve to win. You watched last season? You don't strike me as a fan of AME. John, everyone in America is a fan of AME. The whole country has got its eye on you. Not everyone, but anyway. But no pressure or anything, right? Right! But while we're on the subject, any inside info you can give me before the show starts filming? Nothing too specific. All I can say is, is I'm not the only Season 10 contestant who's coming back. I can't wait to say Mackenzie. I was hoping she'd come back this season. Amy needs more tough girls like her. There aren't any tough girls like Mackenzie. She's completely one of a kind. Hear the crackle of gravel as the limo pulls up behind the AME mansion. Well, there's my stop. Thanks for giving me a ride. Huh, no problem. I'll be rooting for your boy next door. It's like they need to remind us of all these things. Smile at the driver as you step out of the limo. Only to be greeted by hundreds of screaming fans. Oh my god, it's John from Season 10! John! J John, over here! Rah, he's even hotter in person. Where are you from? I don't want to say... Rome, but yeah. And the crowd is focused on you, waiting to see how you'll greet your adoring public. Some choices will affect your audience. Will you be a sweetheart villain or flirt? Why would I give him the cold shoulder? No! Can I go up and hug each one of them? Hey, they're my fans, you know? You wake at the crowd and blow them an exaggerated kiss. Hello, lovers. Did you miss me? The crowd goes wild as you strut past them. Oh, he was totally looking at me! Nuh-uh, he was looking at me. What must it be like to have such raw animal magnetism? John's so lucky. Okay, people, stay in line or I'm kicking you all to the curb. The security guard forces the crowd to back up. You slip around the side of the house towards the driveway. As soon as you round the corner, the scene changes completely. What the? I see nothing. Watch bewildered as PAs and crew members hurry in and out of the house, barking orders at each other. In all the chaos, no one seems to notice you. You head inside and in search of a familiar face. Jen? Fatima? Uh, it's John. Oh, thank God. Omar, a producer, rushes across the foyer to where you're standing. He looks frazzled. You're over two hours late. I knew Carson would give out the wrong call times. Uh... Hello to you too, Omar. Is everything okay? You? I mean, you seem... Like I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown? I was gonna say stressed, but that works too. Also, you look like you got new glasses. Important thing is, you're here now. So I have to cross one contestant off my list. Hmm. Hello, stranger. Literally. Eh, let's give you... Make that two more. A muscular stranger saunters into the foyer, carrying a surfboard under his arm. He smiles brightly at you. Okay. Nice to meet you, John. I gotta go say I'm a big fan. Um, nice to meet you, too. Are you a new contestant? Don't know if I'd say new. This is all star season. But yeah. You'll be uh, competing against me for the grand prize. This is Slater, a returning contestant from Season 6. His official title is Surfer. Not as charming as the boy next door, but it's something. 
Yeah, yeah. Now if you two are done dawdling, Jen needs John for the confessional. Dawdling? We were just talking. Now. I like your new glasses, but you're still a prick. Slater salutes as you start down the hall. See you on the flip side, boy next door. Oh my god, why is this a thing? When you open the door to the confessional room, you find Jen waiting for you. She beams as you cross the room to her. John, welcome back. You have no idea how good it is to see you. You betrayed me. I like how it's... I've missed you so much, you're as gorgeous as ever. Ah, <sighs> Whatever. I've missed you so much. Used to have a thing for you, Jen, and then you hurt me. You give Jen a hug. It's been so weird not having our weekly confessionals. Tell me about it. Planning the season has been intense, but the thought of seeing you again got me through it. Is everything okay, though? Things seemed kind of hectic downstairs. I can't say I'm surprised. Usually we air AME every summer, which means we have months to prepare. But Carson insisted on airing AME All-Stars in the fall. We barely had time to get everything together. That explains why Omar's in such a bad mood. Is there anything I can do to help? You're sweet, John, but you don't need to worry about us. Let's focus on your strategy for this season. Hmm. I want to talk about your image. I think we should head in a new direction. How so? Last season we assigned you the Boy Next Door title. This season I figured we could shake things up. That's why I want you to pick your own title. Are you a leader? A sex symbol? A rebel? It's totally up to you. You think I need a new title? I'd rather keep my old one, actually. I mean... Eh. I mean, I kind of like leader, but... Eh. I've got so used to hearing boy next door. No, I... No. It'd be weird to change it now. Fair enough. You'll have to work a little harder to set yourself apart from your season 10 image. I'm not looking to set myself apart. I liked myself. Thank you. And now that we've got your title sorted, let's talk about your confessional persona. Last season, you chose to be America's sweetheart. You can stick to that persona this season if you want, or you can choose a new fourth confessional persona. There's a fourth type? What is it? The wild card. Ooh. While a sweetheart villain or flirt should always stick to their persona, the wild card likes to mix things up. They keep America on its toes. So a wild card is mysterious. And sexy. A wild card never answers a question the same way twice. Consider me intrigued. It's up to you what your confessional persona will be. We'll see how your first answer pans out. The two of you take your seats and Jen switches the camera on. Oh, it's going to be based on how we answer, okay. Here we are, back on America's most eligible. It must feel weird after you spend summer at home. A little weird to be back. Let's say I'm just excited. And we're excited to have you, but I'm sure everyone's wondering what made you decide to come back for the All-Star season. Hmm. I miss the cast and crew. My adoring public needs me. Eh. I think all these answers suck. My adoring public needs me. I didn't really like the cast and crew besides Mackenzie. Jen, again, I first liked Jen. I was the one who started hashtag love Jen, but... Like... Mmm. And I don't want to be a pompous ass. The show would suck without me, no. I mean, mm, my adoring public needs me. The audience doesn't have to pine for me anymore. I'm back and sexier than ever. Well, if nothing else, I'm sure America's happy you're here. But I can't help wondering how you'll mix things up this season. Everyone saw your AME debut, and that includes your competition. You can't rely on the same strategy used in Season 10. So how will you play the game this time around? The season, I'll form meaningful friendships. 
I'll show America that sometimes nice guys can finish first. But why? I like to finish second. It's better that way. I mean, what? <laughs> Sounds like you're determined to make a statement, but this is... Uh, but is there anything you want to tell your fans before the season starts? Of course. I promise... I'll make you all proud. In the end, I know I'm not just competing for myself. I'm competing for everyone who believes in me. Jen smiles as your confessional comes to an end. Nice work, John. You were a complete sweetheart today. You were a sweetheart in your first confessional. Well, I can't help smiling now that I'm back in the mansion. Jen gets her feet with a sigh, rubbing the small of her back. I have to admit, I wish your confessional wasn't over already. I feel like I've been on my feet for a week straight. Is there any way I can help you take a load off? But um, shh. There is one thing you can do. Come up to the roof with me. It's been so long since we've seen each other, and I'm dying to catch up. Plus, I could really use the fresh air. I've been cooped up in the mansion all day. That does sound relaxing. Want to spend time with Jen? You're... You're my first love interest, technically, in this whole horrendous thing. But, I digress. Only 12, that's actually not bad. That sounds nice, but I should probably get to hair and makeup ASAP. Besides, we have a whole season to catch him. You did not steal a one-on-one -on -one time with Jim. Yeah, about that. With Piper gone, production has shifted a little, and, well, you and I won't be spending as much time together. Oh, seriously? Why not? Put bluntly, our relationship is a liability issue. I got a lot of heat last season for favoring you too much, which is why the season Omar and I will be producing all contestants equally. Omar's my producer, too. I didn't sign up for this shit. What's the point of me coming back to AME if you're not even going to be my producer? I'm still your producer, John. It's just that Omar's your producer now, too. We'll find other reasons to hang out, I promise. We'd better. I don't know what I'd do at... Suddenly, someone bursts into the confessional room. Jen, John, come quickly, I have a crisis on my hands. Fatima, what's wrong? Oh, two of the other all-stars are at each other's throats and hair and makeup. No matter what I say, they won't stop fighting. I need someone to talk sense into them before they make a mess of everything. Just lead the way. You, Jen, and Fatima rush to hair and makeup to find two young contestants bickering furiously. I mean, really? What kind of civilized person lives alive? Puts a live lizard in someone else's suitcase. She's rest a happy-looking lizard into he's face. <laughs> I always love these lizards. For the last time, Eden, Princess Bubblegum wandered in there herself. Do you think I'm stupid, Heath? You'd had... You've had it out for me since the first time we were on the show together. That's not true. I'm the vlogger. Playing pranks on video is part of my contract. Jen steps between the battling contestants, scowling. That's enough, you two. If you're gonna argue, at least save it for the cameras. But Eden started it. She keeps accusing me of intentionally sabotaging her. Because you let her majesty here shed her skin on my nice clothes. I hate vloggers. <sighs> Even though I've done the occasional vlogging piece in the past, but there's a difference between vlogging and actually being a piece of shit like Logan Paul. And... Q, I hate Logan Paul. Um... And he did just confess that he put it in there for, quote-unquote, it's part of my contract. So... Mm, I already hate you. I already hate you. Actually, Heath needs to apologize. You need to get a tighter rein on your lizard, Heath. Finally! Someone with common sense! Thanks for seeing my point of view. Don't listen to them, princess. They just don't appreciate the, you the way I do. Look, it doesn't matter who's right and who's wrong. Heath, you're late for your confessional with Omar. And I need to fix Eden's hair, so if you don't mind... She shows Heath out of the room and steers Eden into a chair as Fatima puts the finishing touches on her bun. Eden heaves a hot sigh. 
I'm sorry we just met like this, John. You must think I'm a total diva. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, the guy let a lizard loose in your suitcase. If that happened to me, I'd be pretty mad too. Exactly! That boy has no respect for personal property. I swear. But anyway, now that he's gone, why don't we start fresh? No, because I want my points. <laughs> I'm Eden LaBella, one of Scarsdale's LaBellas. I was the Harris in Season 7, but this year my title is the Sorority Girl. I'm going to get so confused with all these bloody f***ing titles. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm John. Woefully underdressed. Padima smirks at you as she holds up a garment bag. No, I'm fine, thank you. I'm sure you recall how first impressions are important on Amy. For real, if you don't dress to impress on for the first night, your entire image could suffer. Not to worry, though. I've been toiling away all summer at the perfect cocktail outfit for you. Uh, well, in that case, I can't wait to try it on. Okay, one, remove the lavender flower. Two, remove the tie, and then you have a deal. Otherwise, this sucks. The outfit's beautiful, Fatima, but I feel more comfortable with what I'm wearing. Suit yourself. You'll steal the show regardless. Speaking of the show, you two should get outside. Filming could start any minute now. Break a leg, loves. I just know the season will be fabulous. With a smile and a wave, you and Eden hurry out of hair and makeup together. But what about my facial? If I look orange in front of these cameras, I swear. Outside, you find the crew hurrying to set everything up, while a familiar face lounges in a beach chair. Eden, John, glad to have you back. Hey, Carson. Congrats on the promotion, Snake. Are you planning on sabotaging me again, or was that just a Season 10 thing? Carson laughs nervously. I will slit your goddamn throat. I don't know what you mean. You're telling me Carson's a saboteur. He now likes you. Ooh. This is the juiciest gossip I, I've had since Tilly Van Housen brought her cousin as a date to the Meet Me Ball. Anyway, why don't you two relax while we wait for the other contestants to show up? You mean they're not even here yet? We're supposed to be filming already. There were some miscommunications, but everyone's on their way, I assure you. Go, mix, mingle, meditate. That's an order from your showrunner. <sighs> but I pull out a knife and stab you. Exchanging bewildered looks with Eden, you head to the other side of the pool. Or you find a few of your Season 10 friends waiting for you. John, welcome back. When you missed your, uh, our first call time, we started to worry you wouldn't show up. Maybe you were worried, Derek. Ah, oh, Christ, why? It was all going great to you. <sighs> yeah, Mackenzie and I had every confidence in him. I'm just so glad you're all here. I, I can't even tell you how good it is to see you. Why is Bianca back? Calls for a kiss hello. Mackenzie. Oh, Bianca's a love interest. Oh, great. Me? I'm talking about you, Mackenzie. Oh, I know. Mackenzie sparks as you capture her lips in a passionate kiss. She anchors her hand against your hip, pulling you closer. Then, after a long moment, you pull away. Mackenzie as now your ally. Oh, fuck you! Now that's what I call a proper greeting. Sorry to break up the reunion, but it seems like there's a bunch of people here I haven't met. Stra Slater strides over to where you're all standing with Heath in tow. Uh, Heath from se uh, Season 7. Nice to meet you. And I'm Slater from Season 6. You had the most iconic entrance in AMA history. And the best beach bot apart from me, of course. Quit it, you guys. You're gonna make me blush. Well, as uh, long as we're all here. And as long as we have nothing to do. Why don't we just uh, take some time to get to know each other? We could mix some drinks, or play a game, or... 
truth or dare. I call truth or dare. You would suggest something that immature. Hey! I played a lot of truth and dare back in my age when I was a teenager. You leave him alone. I don't know. It could be fun if I, we had a grown-up twist on it. What do you have in mind? We could... Make it a drinking game. Eh, eh, both of these... No, what? How could you... Okay, how? How How would you even do this? Okay, so for instance, let's say we strip. For what? Every time we do dare? Truth? What? How would that even work? And then make it a drinking game. Hasn't that been done to death? Um, let's play strip, truth or dare. I need to see how this works. I am so down. Same. This will be hilarious. Yeah, for your vlog. Oh, you! You are a fucking diva. Oh my god, I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. We gained all those points. Don't like you anymore. After one suggestion. Really? Or embarrassing. I'm not sure I want you all to know that much about me. What what really are you missing besides literally taking your top off right now? Oh come on, it'll be fun. I'll even go first. Hmm. Okay, Mackenzie. Truth, dare, or strip? Oh. Truth. Riddle me this. What do you think about Carson as showrunner? Honestly, I think it's crap. Carson doesn't deserve the position he's been given. Especially since he's uh, only got there by cheating. After what he pulled last season, I'm surprised they even let him stay on. Sorry, am I missing something? Since when has it been cool to trash the showrunner? You just five seconds ago gave me points for trashing him to his face! Oh my god. Eh, whatever. I'm all for this drama. Okay, Adam. Your turn. Truth, there, or strip. With a smirk, Adam sheds a suit, stripping down to his underwear. Of course. Next. Damn, dude. You don't mess around. Nope. Derek, your turn. I'll go with Dare. Go easy on me, okay? You should know me better than that, man. I dare you to carve graffiti somewhere on the set. Okay, but it's... Uh, but only if it's somewhere discreet. I have the perfect place in mind. The confessional room. That's your definition of discreet? Yeah, yeah it is. It's a dare, Derek. It's not fun to play it safe. Oh, my, with John. Go big or go home. Oh, you've ruined my goddamn catchphrase now. I will never use it ever again. Well, I guess there's no avoiding this one. Follow me. Derek leads you into the mansion, heading straight for the confessional room. After a little bit of investigating, Derek finds a spot on the wall. Here goes nothing, I guess. Uh, what should I write? Derek should write... Carson... Sucks... Having a six-year-old moment here. Shut up, Carson. Six dicks it is. Oh, with the dramatic floor, Derek carefully carves Carson's six <laughs> into the wall. When he's finished, he stands back and admires his handiwork. Not too shabby. Why? Thank you. Graphic design is my passion. Suddenly, the door to the room swings open, and Omar marches in. What the hell are you doing in here? Why the hell is Adam in his underwear? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, about that. Omar barges past you, squinting at the writing on the wall. Carson sucks dick. <laughs> <laughs> this will never get old if they keep it there. Oh, real mature. We can explain. Don't bother. Just get back out there and wait for Carson to announce the film and... Omar shoos you out of the room and you all return to the poolside laughing. 
<laughs> if I didn't make all of you laugh during this, I'm not doing my job. Adam grins as he buttons up his shirt. Not sure I uh, needed Omar to see me shirtless, but uh, I guess I walked into that one when I chose Strip. Ah, don't worry. I'm sure he enjoyed the view. That was a blast. Too bad it got cut short. We're definitely finishing that game some other time, though. I got dares that need doing. Ah, oh, yeah. But I doubt he will uh, get another chance to chill without the cameras this season. I know what you mean. If we want to grab a moment to ourselves, now might be the last chance. Eh, that's not a bad point, Adam. I've been meaning to catch up with my Season 10 squad. Want to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with someone? Nope. Hi, Omar. You look so pretty. I like your new glasses. Can I know who made them for you? I wouldn't mind black myself. But uh, then again, we should probably just hang out here. We never know when filming might start. Fair enough. It uh, should be any minute now, right? Definitely. Any minute now. Several hours later. What on earth is taking so long? I don't know, but this is starting to piss me off. Where the hell is Carson? I'm about two seconds away from hunting him down and... There's no need for that. Carson approaches you, his hands raised in surrender. Exciting news, friends! After a bumpy start, we're ready to get this show on the road. Finally, let's go. You all follow Carson to the Amy stage, giddy with anticipation. There doesn't seem like there's enough. Something tells me there's going to be more people coming. At long last, you all gather in the backyard to begin filming. As you wait for Carson to start his opening monologue, you hear Slater muttering to him, Heath. I'm telling you, bro, don't do it. But it would be such an epic prank. Uh, can you imagine how funny Carson would look covered in slime? Exactly. He'd want to redo his hair, makeup, and then we'd all get delayed again. Seriously, Heath? You were gonna slime Carson? Don't know whether hero or immature. God damn it, I feel like this is a shit. My hero. Please tell me you're gonna do go through with it. Be ratings gold. Oh, god damn it, Heath likes me now. That's what I said, but someone thinks it'd be a bad idea. I'm not trying to be a buzzkill, but the sooner we wrap, the sooner I can catch some sweet night waves. Finally, Carson silences you as he motions for the cameras to start. Good evening and welcome to the historic 11th season of America's Most Eligible. You and the other contestants burst into applause as Carson beams into the cameras. Ooh, yeah, I'm really happy. Let's get the show on the road already. Seriously. This is AME's first ever All-Star season, pitting past contestants against each other to a race to determine who's the most eligible. We're welcoming back Slater from Season 6, as well as Eden and Heath from Season 7. Nice to meet you again, Merica. I hope you're all ready to be Heath. I'm still using that catchphrase, huh? Of course you remember John, the audience's favorite from AME Season 10. And John's not the only contestant returning from last season. Welcome back, Adam, Mackenzie, Derek, and Bianca. Did you miss me, America? Good to be back, Carson. Yeah, it's great to see so many familiar faces. Oh, but the fun doesn't end here. Please join me in welcoming back Vince from Season 9. And Ivy, the winner of Season 10. I, kn I knew that. I knew that was going to happen. Evening, everyone. It's so good to be back. No way. You've got to be kidding me. It's okay, Mackenzie, hold my hand. This season isn't just going to be AME. It's going to be us killing each and every single one of these people slowly and getting away with it. Though Slater, Eden, and Heath applaud Ivy and Vince, you lock eyes with Adam, he scowls. Now there's no way this'll be good. For any of us. Who didn't see that one coming? 
Are Ivy and Vince back for redemption? Are they up to their old tricks? They're up to their old tricks. I'm not a dumbass. Come on now. If the chick was that easily doable and manipulatable in Season 10, for most people, most, like I said, unless you spent diamonds at the end or throughout the season, which I did repeatedly, I just didn't do it at the end, and I still lost, and a lot of people were actually pissed off about it too. Um, not the fact that I lost, but a lot of them lost too. Um, you basically had no choice whatsoever. There was one rumored individual who actually beat it legitimately. They said they didn't um, spend any diamonds. I've never seen any screenshots. I've never seen any gameplay, so anyone can say anything, really. But, uh, you know, hey, I've seen the, the Choices Wikia, and, yeah, the chances of you winning without diamonds are literally impossible. So, with that being said, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Are you glad AME is back? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, head down description below, links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. Also, keep in mind um, that right now we do have a campaign going on on this channel to help me continue doing the content that I'm doing. Um, that will be put in the comments section. Um, I guess I could put the video for you guys who may or may not understand what's going on, and then also I could put um, the link uh, specifically to it whatever um i guess i can put either one down there so um without further ado thank you all for watching remember it lives uh beneath is up next and then we'll have some cortesan of rome as well thanks for watching and i'll catch y'all later peace